Hi, I'm going to tell you everything I know about brass instruments after taking Dr. Reed's brass, me the brass Methods class, which was very helpful. First, we're going to talk about brass instruments themselves. Right now, I have a French horn with me because it was my last instrument in this class, and I honestly don't want to pull out my trombone right now. So this is one of the brass instruments. There are four main ones. There is the tuba, the euphonium, the trombone, actually there's five, the French horn, and the trumpet now is in order from like lowest to highest in the band. Brass instruments play in a lot of different bands. There are brass instruments in jazz bands, concert bands, symphonies, yeah, wind bands, uh, brass ensembles, they have like infinite uses almost, which is pretty cool. The brass instruments themselves are, of course, made out of brass. They're plated in a different metal, uh, silver or something like that, because so you don't get brass poisoning. And yeah, brass is used because of its acoustical properties, other than like plastic, even though they do make things out of plastic. You know, I kind of want a plastic trombone. Uh, brass instruments have a few main parts. There's the mouthpiece on every single one. The French horn mouthpiece is a little bit weird, as there's like no like definite cup. There's usually a cup which is like that kind of shape on a mouthpiece, like if I had my trombone mouthpiece right now. And then there's the shank, which is the part that goes into the lead pipe of the instrument. The lead pipe is cylindrical, and on French horn, this whole area is made of cylindrical tubing. And then it goes out into a conical bell, where the sound comes out. All the sound on a brass instrument, any brass instrument, comes from the... Oh, I have to sneeze. Guess not. <laughs> comes from... The lips vibrating on the mouthpiece, like how your vocal cords would vibrate inside your throat. So the way that you make a sound on a brass instrument is you just go and then go. French horn is the hardest for me being a trombone player. And then really the instrument itself is just like an ampl amplification unit. So you do the same thing you did before and you just go. How brass instruments change their pitch is these valves, or these are rotors actually, French horns have rotors, but they either have valves or rotors or a slide or something like that, and you press these down or you pull the slide out to lengthen the tubing in the brass instrument. One of my tuning slides was out, which is not very good, and you can also use these tuning slides to make adjustments, but mostly it's just your embouchure, which is the like than you do with your mouth and the whatever mechanism that the instrument uses to change the pitch. That changes the pitch. Rotors go like, if you see on the back here, they go like, I always think of them like rotor equals rotation. That's how I remember it. Piston valves go up and down and then obviously slide just goes wee wee wee. A lot of brass instruments have like really pretty sounds. I haven't been able to do a very good one on the French horn, but it does have like a very vocal like quality. A lot of brass instruments like like imitate the voice. And so I'm gonna try and make a characteristic sound on this instrument. There's a lot of spit in here, so how you remedy that for a French horn is I usually pull this slide out and I go. And it's honestly repulsive. Or you just do this. A lot of instruments, like the trombone and the euphonium and everything else, like, except French horn, have a water key or a spit valve. That's a lot easier than just taking these little slides out into this one. Which is one of the many reasons I do not like French horn. But today we're dealing with it. And yeah. Um, whether an instrument is conical, which is like more cone shaped like the bell of this, or cylindrical, which is like more cylinder shaped, really defines the sound on them. Um, yeah, uh, trombones tend to be more cylindrical and things like euphoniums 
or baritones actually tend to be really conical and this is pretty conical at the end uh yeah and then cleaning for brass instruments is pretty easy i just throw mine in the bathtub and then i use slide oil and tuning side grease on it and for trombone you spray water on it to maintain just like the slidiness you can use um I forgot what it's called, the rotary oil, I think, for French horns, and then valve oil for the valve instruments. It's very important to use the right kind and the right viscosity for your instrument in order to keep it from getting damaged, which is really, really expensive. And I cannot afford that because I'm in college. <laughs> and brass instruments in and of themselves are actually fairly simple. I mean, we don't have like a ton of buttons and a ton of corks or whatever you, reeds. We don't have those. So we just have this piece of metal and we have to like just use a lot of air and make a good sound. That was more characteristic of the French horn. I am not a professional French horn player, obviously, but that's essentially what it sounds like. If I had a student with me here right now, because another thing we learned in this class was how to teach, I would tell them to breathe. I would not say breathe from your diaphragm because where is your diaphragm? No one knows. So I would say breathe in very like deeply. Just take a full breath, go. Make sure you're sitting up. Oh, oh gosh, I keep having to sneeze. There. <laughs> just make sure you're sitting up straight like you were standing up straight and then you're just sitting down just like and Take a full breath very low full breath I have really bad allergies. I Try not to use pressure words like push the air or anything like that just like you're fogging up a mirror or something just go That's how you play. Um, a thing I like to use is two. So you go, and then when you have your armature, you just make that into the mouthpiece. First, I would hand them the mouthpiece, and I would say, go make your lips into an M shape, like, mm, and then go, <laughs> tighten your corners, make sure you don't puff out your cheeks, and then just push, put the mouthpiece up to your mouth and go, <laughs> And usually it takes students like a pretty long time to make a sound on the mouthpiece. As I've learned, it's got a little bit frustrating. But then um, if they can't make a sound on the mouthpiece, I just give them the instrument because sometimes it's easier. And then we give them the instrument. We teach them how to take it out of the case. Make sure the label, like the brand name on the case is facing up. And take the instrument out by the big parts using common sense. And for French horn, you're gonna put your hands like this and stick it in there. No, that's a bad word. Stick or shove. Just place your hand in there. And then we're gonna pull it up to us. Don't go down like that. We're just gonna... And once they can make a good sound in the instrument, that's when you start teaching them notes and rhythms because the most essential part of playing brass is obviously the sound because you don't want to hear like... If a student is struggling to make a sound, I will have them just focus on their breathing mostly because most of the answers with brass instruments are air. And then just keep trying, be patient with them, just go. That sounded like Silent Night for some reason. And you don't have to rush anything. Uh, don't use bad words like breathe in through your stomach, breathe in through your diaphragm, push the air out. Like, just try not to use anything associating with pressure or tension because that's exactly the opposite of what we want. <laughs> and that's basically the first lesson for brass instruments is just to get a sound. And then the next lessons, you can progressively teach them how to make notes. And eventually there'll be a big old college student playing French horn. And that's pretty much it that I have for brass instruments. Uh, they're just really cool. Much better than woodwinds. I'd say trombone is the best brass instrument. 
and that's about all I have.